but welcome to the sports segment here on AM Show. I'm Benedict Tewis. So we'll go straight into our stories this morning. And there's a new Ghana Football Association vice president in the person of Mark Addo. Well, he was elected by the executive council of the FA. At their maiden meeting yesterday, Mr. Addo beat off competition from Randy Abbey and Dr. Tony Urban. But the question many are asking is, who is M Mark Addo and what does he bring on board? Here is my colleague Asai Rediak. Addo is the president of lower tier side in Zima Kotoko. Last month, he was elected onto the GFA Executive Council as one of the three representatives of the Shiwanli clubs. He has spent the past 20 years in football administration by owning Accra-based Mandela Stars since the 1990s before switching to take over in Zima Kotoko. He also has 18 years of progressive experience as a global business executive in the mining information technology and manufacturing industries globally. His contacts and knowledge in the business world would be needed to bring the needed traction to draw corporate sponsorship for football in Ghana. All right, congrats to Mr. Makado. He will now deputize uh, GFA President Keto Kuku. Wish him all the best. Well, the Black Meteors held their first training yesterday as they prepare for their group opener against Cameroon on Friday at this year's CAF Under 23 Nations Cup in Egypt. Our coach Brahim Tanko says he's been impressed with the work ethic of his players. So far, I mean, the training was very good. I mean, we had all the players now, remaining one who is coming this morning. But then when I saw the players training this evening, I was very, very impressed. And I hope that they will continue like this so that on Friday we will have a very good game. We are playing on uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. on Friday. Um, you decided to train in the evening. What accounts for that decision? And then do you think the weather is favorable for your team? I mean, um, we knew already that we are going to play at 10 o'clock. So we decided to train at 6 o'clock so that we'll have, I mean, the weather condition, how it will look on Friday. And I think my boys, uh, most of them are used to this kind of weather. So I don't think it's going to be a, a problem for them. <laughs> All right, so the first game for Ghana is on Friday, and that will be against Cameroon uh, at the CAF Under 23 Nations Cup. Of course, we'll update you in our subsequent sports bulletins. But away from that, we have to look at what happened yesterday in the UEFA Champions League. And of course, it was Chelsea that played host to Ajax uh, at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea went away one, and they were hoping uh, to make it back to back wins. They played very well at a point, they were losing, and then came back strongly. Uh, to draw 4-4 with Naiman Ayas team. Also, the likes of Liverpool uh, were at home uh, to Genk. Liverpool also won that game by two goals to one. We'll show you that of Chelsea and some of the other matches that we played last night. In wow, great games that uh, we saw last night in the UEFA Champions League. And at the point, they were down by two goals to null in the first half. Second half, they came back strongly, equalised and got a match winner. So, matches that we played last night, we'll highlight for you tonight. On your screen, the matches that will be played in the UEFA Champions League, Bayern will play Olympiacos at the Allianz Arena, Lokomotiv Moscow, Juventus, and then we have Paris Saint-Germain. They will be in France to play Club Bruges. Real Madrid will play host to Galatasaray. Remember the corresponding fixture last week, they won away by a goal to know. Resta Belgrade, that's Richmond Bachi Adams, Resta Belgrade will come up against Tottenham Hotspur, and then Dynamo Zagreb, they will take on Shakhtar Donetsk with Atalanta up against Manchester City, who are hoping to keep their 100% record in the UEFA Champions League intact. And then Leverkusen will take on Thomas Partey's Atletico Madrid. Well, away from the UEFA Champions League, thousands of South Africans screamed with joy, danced and sang at the Oral Tambo Airport near Johannesburg on Tuesday as the World Cup winning Springboks return home. A big chunk of the 31 players that did duty in Japan in the last two months arrived on three different flights after close to 40 hours of travel time from Tokyo. All right, so that's how we end sports here on the show this morning. I'm Benedict Tosi. Thanks so much for your company.